Hey y'all, this is our budget for February 1st to the 4th or 15th. And I know it's a little bit late, but you know, life happens and I still wanted to put up this video. So I'm going to go ahead and show you our budget. And it kind of works out because you can see how we move money around and how we made it work with, you know, life happening. Um, I got sick and then Justice got sick. He almost got admitted to the hospital. I had to take him to the urgent care because he had a fever of 104.5. And that fever would not go down. So they sent us to the ER. And then um, while he was at the ER, um, he did get dehydrated. So they had to put him, hook him up to an IV. And he had a UTI. But he's fine now. He got his antibiotics. And his fever finally broke at 1 a.m. in the ER. And the doctor gave us the option whether to go home with him and monitor, monitor him at home. Or stay overnight. But we decided to go home because he started eating and drinking again and he's perfectly fine now so that was on the 1st of February and it, it is now the 12th so um, you'll see how that kind of affected our budget a little bit because I normally pay our, our bills as soon as Justin, Dustin's check comes in I pay it even though it's due like on the 11th I still pay it on the 1st but because all that was going on and then we had to go to urology and everything and neurology we had to go to neurology too um everything just um i was in the back of my mind so i did had to pay some stuff late and which is our first time paying stuff late but you know i hate myself for it because i didn't know we had the money in there and we could have paid it on time but at the same time you know life happens and we had just had to roll with it so for february 1st our mortgage is seven ninety three eighty. And that includes the taxes and insurance. Home gas is $100.87. That went up a little bit because it is winter. So, you know, we're using the heater. Internet is $74.66. Cell phones, $97. That's for both of our cell phones. It's paid already. All of these are paid. Motorcycle insurance went up by $2.25. So it's $52.25. Um, our Harley, this is where I got late. This one's normally due on the 11th, but because I paid it after the after 6 p.m. on the 11th, because I forgot to pay it because of just as being sick and having to see urology and neurology in Colorado Springs um, to separate appointments, um, I totally forgot about it. So I did have to pay a $14 late fee, which I'm upset about, but oh well. So $364.59 is what we had to pay. Netflix is $10.99. Hulu, $12.99. That's the only thing we have left to pay. That automatically comes out of our bank account. So we just leave that in there. Uh, Navy Federal Credit Card, which is what we're paying off on our debt. Um, Snowball. This is our next thing that we're paying off. And our minimum payment was $168. I normally pay around $200. But this time we decided to pay $300 because this is also the first month that we're not living off of our savings. We've been living off of our savings since September because Dustin got out of the military. But now that he's going to school full time, using his GI Bill and working part time, um, that finally kicked in this month. So we're not having to pull out of our savings anymore. Now instead, we're going to start putting money into our savings to build back up our emergency fund. Um, we did have about five months, but we lived off of that for about five months. <laughs> so now we have to build it back up to $1,000 and we're going to probably... Um, save a little bit extra because it's going to be a period where Dustin's going to leave for four months work with the National Guard and we want, need to make sure we have money there to cover for the month that it takes for his pay to kick in with the National Guard with he's going to be considered active duty then anyways <laughs> um, I don't want to complicate things until we get further down the road so anyways I'll, I'll discuss that more later down when it starts to happen so um, monthly household is $60 that kind of ranges between 30 to 100 normally is about $40 that we put for a monthly household that covers dog food paper towels um, toilet paper stuff like that um, but I did put a little bit extra because I had to buy medication because I finished all the cold medication medication I wanted to have some in the house so I bought some more and then I bought just his um, medication that was pres prescribed to him and then Groceries is $100. I did not do a grocery haul again. All this stuff was happening. Um, so that was the last thing on my mind. 
Um, Dustin's gas even budgeting eighty dollars. He is commuting for four days a week, forty five minute drive to his school and then back. Um, then he goes to work straight um, from there. So um, we've been trying eighty dollars and eighty dollars kind of pushing it like he's he's really close. Um, so we decided to do a hundred dollars instead. So um, I budgeted twenty dollars for mine, but because I we carpooled two times. First time to urology and the second time to neurology. Um, I just gave him my twenty dollars because we carpooled, and I didn't need the gas money, so that made up for his hundred dollars. So he's okay for now. Um, Justice's budget is zero dollars. Um, mine and Dustin fund money. We put zero dollars because we were living off of our savings, and we weren't sure when his GI bill um, money was going to be coming in, and it started this month. So. We just put zero dollars because we want to be on the safe side. And then um, our niece's birthday um, came up, so we wanted to buy them a present. So we budgeted forty dollars for them to buy them their their birthday presents. And then because we were in Colorado Springs twice this week, well, Dustin's there four days a week, but me and Justice were there for his appointments. We budgeted to eat out and to take out his grandma for her birthday. So that's where that sixty dollars went into. So that's it for our budget and this is my mom on the go planner and this is where I budget monthly and then I break it down into bi-weekly um, budgeting. I don't know, that's the way I like to do it. Um, I, I feel like it's important to still budget monthly because you get to see exactly where everything is going. And um, as you can see, this is stuff I'm going to have to reconcile into my monthly here where this is where I like projected what I was going to be paying. This is where what I actually be I actually paid. So I like to see the breakdown that way too. So I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching. And I'll be posting the next bi-weekly budget um next week. Bye. Here you go. <laughs>